Hello YouTube, quick update, uh, some pickups, the rings from Call Silver um, that he fit for my daughters, uh, some cool coins, and don't forget to like and sub and share my last three videos before this because I'll be doing two twenty, uh, I'm sorry, two fifty dollar giveaways uh, tomorrow. I'll be pulling the names so you can get fifty dollars worth of coins from Tiago and fifty dollars from Matt. Thank you. Hello, YouTubians. This is Del Rugby PM coming at ya. Couple um, intro, uh, I guess you'd say, odes to a couple of my favorite channels. Uh, my boy Frankie P and 24K. Anyway, um, here's some pickups and an update on the two contests, as you all are aware. Uh, tomorrow I'll be drawing for two $50 prize winners, one from Tiago Silva's website. Um, for fifty dollars, for some numismatic European, I would imagine you would go up, go after, and then from uh, Panhandle, uh, Panhandle Matt is uh, in Florida, and uh, he specializes in Southeast Asian. But I think he's offered up two Morgans. Anyway, here's some pickups. First off, here are some books I got from a local coin store. There's two local coin stores um, that I visited here in Austin. The first one being um, the Village uh, on Spicewood Springs is where I got these books that I'll try to fill up with my kids. Um, the second one is in Round Rock um, um, and I forget the gentleman's name but I'll put a picture of his card here when I'm done. Uh, his name was I don't remember but anyway he's got some pretty nice stuff as well. And then um, here's some pickups from uh, gosh Craigslist pretty cool stuff here's a really nice coin from China slapped I like it look at it and here's a peace dollar MS 64 it's not a key date but it's still pretty nice these are all from my friend Patrick I also picked up a pile of um, American Silver Eagles from him, another Franklin, a quarter Balboa that has quite a bit of luster to her, a fairly nice Walking Liberty half, and another Morgan with some great patina. Look at that. And then uh, that Barber quarter, and a whole bunch of uh, really nice luster um, um, Yurks that. Uh, I think he must have just pulled them out of a out of a roll because of the luster. Uh, here's the rest of them over here. Okay, now moving on to um, here's the middle of the coins of the two um, Washingtons that we made for my daughters uh, with Call Silver. When they wake up, it's really early Sunday morning. When they wake up, I'll have them uh, model their rings. But yeah, these I don't know what I'll do with them, but they're pretty cool. Here's something I got coin roll hunting in 1962. I think that's a D penny. Actually, I just found it my change, you know? So, really cool luster on that. It's a nice penny. Um, and then, um, this is all from a gentleman named Adam, who is a really super nice guy. He's a Lebanese Druze uh, individual who has a check cashing service. And people come in and they sometimes have coins. So look at all these babies. Um, no key dates in the Morgans, but I got these for 11 bucks each, so why not? A um, couple piece dollars, a couple more Morgans. And then uh, this round, um, I've heard that they're rare. The Secret Service raided them and did all that stuff. I don't know if it's true or not, but I um, read a bunch of stories. Anyway, got this for Spot as well. And then got this for, for Spot. Um, it's not AU, but gosh, when you can get a $20 piece for, for spot, why not, right? Um, look at it. Look at it. And then another um, American Silver Eagle from him uh, for spot. And then a key date. Um, 360000 of them made. 1928 um, piece dollar. And I'd say this one is definitely at least 
AU. Um, I don't know. If anybody has any ideas of if you would call this baby uh, MS, I don't think so because there's a lot of little micro scratches. But still, AU with uh, key date. Gotta love that. And then my last set of pickups, really cool stuff, uh, from, all from the same guy, a um, guy named Russ, uh, also from um, Craigslist. Look at these babies. Um, first off, the U.S. primarily ones. We've got a really nice luster uh, Morgan here. We've got a nice piece dollar here. Not key dates, but still nice. And then a lot of clad stuff, but there's a barber um, half, a uh, Walking Liberty half. Um, this half dollar is really cool. Um, commemorative. And then just some various uh, other, um, I won't call it John Silver, some numismatic constitutional silver. And here's the obverse for them all. Take a look at this half dollar. My gosh, that's beautiful. And then the uh, Morgan, just fantastic. And the piece isn't too bad. And then some more. Uh, Clad and 40% Kennedys, a uh, whole bunch of them. Um, and then we got some uh, older nickels, pennies, stuff like that. There's an Indian head. God, I love Indian heads. Don't see those very often. Sorry for my camera work, guys. Um, but yeah, these are really cool. And then off to his international, he sold me. Viva la Mexico. Look at all these 50 pesos. Um, um, I love the old, uh, I guess you call it Lippertad uh, silver. Um, really nice collection of, of, of international stuff here. Um, next, oh, I'll keep going here. Look at the back of that. Really pretty Mexican coinage. The doggos as well. Here's some more international stuff. Most of this is, is, is you know, circ uh, uh, basically uh, uncirculated. Some silver, some isn't. Um, but it was uh, this guy Russ's father's collection who uh, passed away. Condolences to you and your family, Russ. But he sold it to a good home. Um, Nice stuff. Lots of old British stuff for Cyber Curtain Twitcher to look at. Here's some German stuff. Here's a Dutch coin that I thought for sure was silver, but oops. It's not silver. Sure looks like it though. So anyway, I was shocked to see that. I was shocked to see that it was oops. Huh. It's weird. It's metallic on one side, or it's, uh, I'm sorry, it's um, magnetic on one side, but not the other. I don't understand that. If anybody knows anything about that, let me know. Why would this uh, Dutch coin be ma uh, magnetic on one side, but not the other? That's really odd. Anyway, here's some more European um, clad from the 60s and 50s primarily, and uh, that's pretty nice. And some more European, uh, mostly French, it looks like here, from without my glasses. Some silver, some isn't. Uh, we're getting closer to the really cool stuff. Oh, look at this. Oh, Portugali, Tiago, what do you think of that? Look at the luster on that. I'll have to give this to, to, to um, Tiago. That's a beautiful uh, Portuguese MS um, uh, coin right there. I don't know. Um, Tiago, tell me what you think of that one. And we're getting closer to the best of the best in here. Um, bear with me. Okay, well first we've got a really cool Iraqi coin. I've got another one of these um, locked away, but um, it's nice. And a really nice few Moroccan coins. Um, really beautiful coins from Morocco. Let's see. So, reminds me of that Rush um, um, album cover with the guy in the middle of that star. <laughs> um, the Moroccan coinage. 
And then here's the Iraqi uh, coin. It's a bit worn, but it's still nice. Now let's get to the grand finale. First off, we got the 10 piastres from Egypt. Look at the patina on that. Lovely coin. And then we got the 100 um, mils silver coin from Palestine. So I'm picking up quite a few of these now. And uh, each one I get just seems to be better and better. So got to love that. Um, look at that, 100 piastres. Again, it's the only coinage you'll find that is both in Arabic Hebrew and English. If only we could all get along like that coin does. And here's our Egyptian coins. And here's some more cool stuff. Here's some beautiful um, Philippines coinage. Look at the luster on this. So that's the 50 uh, centavos, the 20 centavos, the 10 centavos. And I guess this is, gosh, maybe uh, five centavos. I'm not sure um, without, I can't look while I'm filming. But yeah, I bet Panhandle Matt is going to love those. Your Asawa will like those too. Really beautiful coins. Look at those. Look at the luster on these bad boys. And then here's some more cool stuff. Um, some beautiful coins here. And now for the grand finale. Da, 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 da. You ready for it? Wait for it. This is for my dad. A real fat man. <laughs> As you all know, I have a fat man that's been in our collection for 40 years that we always thought was real and it was fake. Well, this one, my friends, is real. And that's the $1 fat man. And here's the 50 cents uh, dragon. So these two are just fantastic. And then here's some old ancient stuff too. I think that's a cash, but I don't remember what it's called. Some really cool Chinese coins here. Look at it. Look at it. <laughs> and then um, for my boy Frank P. I know it's not gold. It's only silver, but I like it. And this is pretty cool too. But yeah. Anyway, um, when the girls wake up, I will be doing their um, video of all their stuff from Call Silver. He went nuts, um, not like Florida nuts or, or um, nuts uh, silver, uh, not nuts in a bad way, but he went nuts in a coin to ring way. So I didn't film it to protect the um, back cave location of Call Silver, but we had some fun with my daughters and we've made some more silver, um, rings that they're wearing right now. I don't think I want to wake them up or, or pull them out of bed. But um, yeah, I'll be showing those in a couple minutes. Don't forget, please like, sub, and comment on my last four videos because I'll give you entries for those and also to Tiago and to Panhandle's uh, um, um, uh, sites you'll get entered in because I got a $50 credit, basically two Morgans from Panhandle. And I got a $50 credit for whatever you want from Tiago's uh, um, um, site as well. They kind of um, donated uh, for my contest for me because most of my stuff is locked away in a gun locker deep in the deep snows of Maine right now. So anyway, please uh, like, sub, and subscribe and share this. I'll go ahead and include this in the contest as well. And I'll do the randoms.org stuff for the two contests tomorrow. So I will also include chances if any of you did those book reviews. Um, if you did, then um, I'm, I'm asking uh, our, our good friend AU Rebel to send me over those names. And I'll go ahead and give them a chance as well. So if you have liked, subscribed, and shared my last four videos, you get a chance. If you have done book reviews, you get a chance and you'll get a chance for the Tiago one if you're subbed to him and you'll get a chance for Matt's uh, panhandle giveaway if you've subbed there. So stand by. I'll wake up my lovely daughters next to model their new rings. This is Delray BPM. And here's the local LCS that I've told you about.
Okay, with our AT Pro 150 in the front yard, I think there's something here. Just go back and forth gently. Back and forth, go forward. Back and forth, like this. You didn't put your hand in here. Oh, that's more comfortable. There you go. Now go back and forth. Here, like this. Mm. How do you do that? You got a nickel there, right? Can you keep looking in that area and just vector it. Nothing? Back and forth. Go forward. You're missing it. <laughs> in there. Get back and forth. Figure out where it is. Where is it? Where? Okay. You find it? Where is it? In the hole or is it in the uh, top? Is it in the hole? Okay, let me look down. During our metal detecting how we came across that Can we get some bird food? No. Look at that red-tailed hawk. I guess he's not metal detecting today. What a beauty. Just a block from our house. Why don't you get out to make him fly? Mrs. Beats, get out. There he goes. Wow. So here are the coins that Call Silver made for my daughters at the after. Well, this is what came out of the middle of them. This is Hannah's, excuse me, Abby, Hannah's um, um, clad one, and here's Hannah's silver one, and here's Abby's clad one, and here's Abby's um, silver one. Let me, let me move so, it. girls, what do you have to say? Thank you, Call Silver. 